good morning students today we will learn the uses of past perfect continuous tense you know so far we have completed simple present present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous simple past past continuous and past perfect tenses now let's learn the uses of past perfect continuous tense first of all let's learn how to make sentences in past perfect continuous tense so here the rule is subject plus had plus been plus ing form of main verb once more repeat subject plus had been plus ing form of the main verb for example he had been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month he had been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month negative construction you know has not after the auxiliary verb that is had so here subject plus had plus not plus been plus ing form of the main verb in negative construction subject plus had plus not plus been plus ing form of the main verb for example he had not been writing the book he had not been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month he had not been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month the third is their construction in question positive in question with auxiliary verb that is had plus subject plus been plus ing form of main verb plus rest of the clause plus question mark question positive at question with auxiliary verb that is had plus subject plus been plus ing form of the main verb plus rest of the words or clause plus question mark had he been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month had he been writing the book for last two years when i met him in bengaluru last month similarly question negative also can be made just as i told you earlier just add not after the auxiliary verb so construction will be had plus here you can now in negative you can add not after subject as well both the rules can be applied so had and this is old rules and uh, used in written english but if you add not here in question negative if you add not after auxiliary verb 
This rule is applied in spoken English. <clears throat> Sorry. So had plus subject plus not plus been plus ing form of the main verb plus other words plus question mark. Had he not been writing the book for last two years when I met him in Bangalore last month? Had he not been writing the book for last two years when I met him in Bangalore last month? In a spoken list, we can add not after had. In question sentence, and it is also accepted. Hadn't he been writing the book for last two years when I met him in Bangalore last month? Now question positive with WH word. Its construction is WH word plus auxiliary verb plus subject. WH word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus been plus ing form of main verb. Plus other words, plus question mark. WH word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus been plus ing form of main verb plus other words plus question mark. And in question negative, with beginning with WH word, here again you will add not. So, WH word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus been plus not plus ing form of main verb plus other words plus question mark. Now, I give example. You can see WH word. So, how long? Auxiliary verb had, subject he, then been, then verb plus ing writing. Other words. Then question mark. So, how long had he been writing the book when I met him in Bangalore last month? How long had he been writing the book when I met him in Bangalore last month? Again, when you make negative question, and how long had he been not writing the book when I met him in Bangalore last month? How long had he been not writing the book when I met him in Bangalore last month? So, this was a structure of sentences in past perfect continuous tense. Now, let's learn the uses. First uses when an action started in past, when an action started in past and was in progress at the time when it was noticed. When an action starts in past time and it is in progress at the time when it is noticed by someone. Then it will be expressed into past perfect continuous tense. For example, he had been teaching in that school for five years when I met him in New Delhi last year. He had been teaching in that school for last five years when I met him in New Delhi last month. It means when you met him in Delhi, New Delhi last month, the action was in progress. Action was going on and it had started in past, it means five years ago.
he had been writing the email for two hours when I saw him yesterday. He had been writing the email for last two hours when I saw him yesterday. Again, the, ac the action of writing the email started two hours before and it was in progress when it was noticed by the speaker. So here past perfect continuous tense has been used. And the use of past perfect continuous tenses when an action started in past at a particular time. When an action started in past at a particular time and it continued till the time it was noticed. It means the action started in past at a particular time and it continued means it was it went on and finished in front of the speaker as for example he had been he had been playing the piano for one hour when I reached his home. He had been playing the piano for one hour when I reached his home. It means work of playing piano started in past time, in past at a particular time, means one hour ago. And it completed when the speaker reached his home. So, he had been playing the piano for one hour when I reached his home. And the use of past of a continuous tense is when we express an action which is repeated in past continuously. When we express an action which is repeated in past continuously, we use past perfect continuous terms. For example, she had been trying to telephone her mother whole day. She had been trying to phone. She had been trying to phone her mother whole day. Just a minute. Yes, here again we have got the thing. She had been trying to telephone her mother whole day means telephoning her mother took place continuously repeatedly in the past second example we can see 
she had been typing throughout the day she had been typing throughout the day typing work of typing was repeated continuously and at the time of speaking it may be over another use of past perfect continuous tense is the events which started before a time in the past and which finished an event or action which started in the past and finished but its effect its result is very important at a point a point in the present time so an action which started before a particular time in the past and finished but its effect continued its effect is very important in fact its result is still important so in this way in this case we use past perfect continuous tense for example he is better to say he or she because the sense of the sentence will express more appropriately if you use she she had been crying she had been crying their eyes were red so here crying work of crying is over when you are speaking work of crying is over when you are speaking but it is important its result is important the original result her eyes were dark uh, eyes were red we want to show importance of this sentence this work this is the result the result of crying is the eyes being red now we can say the uses of past of a continuous tense number 1 action started in past at a particular time and was in progress at the time when it was noticed next if an action is started in past at a particular time and continued up to the time it was noticed next when when we want to denote that an action was repeated continuously in past we use past with continuous tense and an action or events which started before a time in the past and finished but its effect its result was still very important later on
So in these cases, we use past perfect continuous terms. A few example you may take. He had been teaching in that school for last five years. He had been teaching in that school for last five years when I saw him in Bangalore last month. He had been writing the book for last two years when I saw him in New Delhi last month. I had been driving for about half an hour when I heard a noise in the engine. I had been driving for about half an hour when I heard a noise in the engine. So here driving is over. When it was noticed. When this action took place, hearing noise. We had been cleaning the car for hours when we stopped and had a tea. We had been cleaning the car for hours when we stopped and had a tea. Again here also, cleaning the car started, it passed and it completed. When we stopped and had tea. She had been typing throughout the day. This action was repeated continuously and it was over. And the sentence is she had been trying to telephone her mother all day. Again here this action is repeated continuously. It had been raining and the ground was wet. Look, this action started in the past and completed, which resulted the ground to be wet. Now she had been crying, her eyes were red. The work of crying started in the past and it was over, which resulted her eyes to be red. In this way, today we have learned the uses of past perfect continuous tense. Thank you.